Hello, hello, Professor Egan. What's shaken? Outstanding, Luigi. That possessor was working hard to cause trouble, but you made him clock out early. Oh. Again with the clock puns. God damn it. Clock puns. Right now. The final mission for old clockworks. Showtime. Alrighty, Luigi. Ready to take a gander at that image from the security system? Let's have a look. Hmm. That area is just behind the clock tower gate. Hmm. Another, pro another possessor. I wish I could say I was surprised. Anywho, we had those guys seems to be headed to the top of the tower. I wonder why. Remember now to inspect the scene, look around by tilting the Nintendo 3DS in all directions. Yeah, pretty much just telling us what we need to do. Okay, so what's going on here? Hmm, I wonder how each one of those possessors got hold of those dark moon pieces. I, it can't be a coincidence. No, it doesn't seem like it. Looks like those guys are trying to get are going to the town. And looks like we got more booze. And looks like we have found another painting. That sack. Is that a painting inside? It looks like. Oh. Hmm. Why are those booze guarding it so closely? Wait a minute, there's something familiar about that hat. Of course there's something familiar about that hat. And I'll be using those to create illusions. Who gave them that ability? They can't have just started doing that on their own. Yeah, that's odd for that to start happening. But anyway, I think we got all we need to gather. Hmm. That blood coming from outside, the limits of the image gives me a very bad feeling. It's almost like there, there's a fiendish presence ordering the possessors to guard the Dark Moon piece. Could it be that there, could it be that all the ghosts in Evershade Valley are being com uh, commanded by some vile villain? Who or what is the culprits? Anywho, I could ponder forever, but we need to get that get to the top of that clock tower ASAP. I trust you still got that right on you. Yes indeed. Excellent. You need to install it near the big clock face. And the two pieces of the clock hand. And uh, in here, don't forget our precious clock hands. Of course, whoa! Yeah, you shove it down your pocket, okay. Why are you laughing, Professor Ego? It's a good thing you have such deep pockets in those dung. <laughs> dung uh, I can't say that. Those pants are on it of yours. <laughs> alright, alright, youngster, it's showtime. Get to the top of the clock tower and find that dark moon piece. Uh, stay on your guard, the possessor ghost is likely at the top of the tower. Uh, be careful and look lively, Luigi. Oh, don't be scared, Luigi. We're at the final point of the clock tower and we'll be able to collect one more. We'll be able to collect one more moon piece and able to demiss one of the mansions that we need to go to next. And where are you shifting us this time? Right in front of the face. Oh come on Luigi, it's not that hard to land on your feet. It's simply not that hard. Alright, let's see. Alright, where do, Okay, what needs to be put on first? Ah yes, the clock hands. The hour. And the minute hand. Oh. Okay, nice. Now it's time to place in the rotor. Ooh, there's an in time. I'm taking a gander of this particular time. Time we're looking at this time. I 
can't remember what it was. Hmm. One, two, three, four? No, okay, so what am I looking for now? <laughs> what kind of time am I trying to make this time? Uh, hmm. That's what happened to me last time. I couldn't actually remember the combination, the clock combination for it. No, that's not it. <laughs> oh god. Alright, looks like I may need a little bit of a helping hand somewhere along the line. I should have actually checked a little bit more carefully. Oh dear. Alright, I'll be right back ladies and gentlemen. I just need to do something, so see you very shortly. Okay, well I'm back now. For me being a complete dolt, I just came to realize that the I just came to realize that the numbers on the picture actually shows us what needs what actually needs to be. So seven thirty. I am so blind. God damn it, I should actually pay more attention to some of those photos because some photos actually give us indication of how to open oh. some particular doors. Here we go, 7.30. 7.30. Oh, okay, now what am I supposed to do here? Oh. Okay, oh. No. Oh my god, bats. Why? And there we go. We're all good. Time to move on. The bell fry. The bell fry. Whoa! Oh wow, that's a powerful that's a powerful jump pad. Whoa! Ow! Oh, Luigi! Ah, the possessor. There we go. What is he gonna be? What is this particular possessor gonna do now? Oh, looks like he's gonna possess the cuckoo clock. It looks like we have to be a little bit quicker, quicker before... Ah, now I know what we're gonna do. Ow! Have to be quick. Come on, quickly, quickly! That's that one dealt with. Ah. Wow, okay. That's a total order. A total order can be done. There you go. Hmm. There we go. I was looking for you too. Get off. Damn flies. Number three is now done. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Alright, you two, come here. The good thing about the same as they do, they're not afraid to hide them, not hide themselves. They like to face you face face you head on. Number four. Ah, looks like it's a bosh rush mode. 
Oh. Okay, it looks like now. Alright, you're coming in. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it looks like no it looks like the face is going back to place. Now I need to survive four more. Number five. Okay, that's that one done. We just need to deal with the beetles. Number six. Now we have to deal with the sneakers. Ow! Alright, there we go. Three, three sneakers, okay. Ow! Jeez. There we go. Oh, that one got away. There we go, I gotcha. Come on, you little scumbag. And you too. Six is now done. Seven. Oh no, now we're dealing with greenies with shields. Ouch. <laughs> Don't taunt your friends when you get caught here because if you celebrate too early, you're gonna get sucked in. Alright, number seven. Now it's number eight. And who are we dealing with this time? Ah, oh, of course, mummies. Oh, God. Come on, hit the wall for me. Thank you. God damn it. There we go. Come on, you possessor. You need to come out and play with me. I need to collect that dark moon piece. And then we're all done. Oh. You're bouncing all over the place. Ooh, that was a big mistake. I'll let go. One, two, three, four. Bouncing randomly in different spots. There we go. Now he's down to his final phase. And all we need to do now is just survive for four more waves. Avoid that clock hand. Oh, no. Now both of them are... Now both of them are red. That's gonna hurt. Okay, <laughs> dealing with the beetles first. Nine, done. One, nine down, three more to go. went off to. Now there he is. Come on you. In your hop. Where's that last one? Oh, there we go. Okay, ten done. Two more to go.
Ah, now it's just dealing with bones. I got way too many coming out of me! Holy smokes. Oh god. <laughs> Why was that a thing? Why was it? Last one, number 12. And it throws everything at us. Oh god. Guys, is that all of them? Yeah, that is all of them. All 12 numbers, all done and accounted for. And he's going to be bouncing around like a little tick for five times. Ouch. Get him here, Gary. Possessor is now all done. Now we just need to collect that moon piece. Moon piece number four. Yeah. Oh, hello. Ah, hello, Professor. You again? What's taking? Outstanding, Luigi. That possessor was working hard to cause trouble, but you made him clock out early. Oh. Again with the clock puns. God damn it. Clock puns. <laughs> Hold still, I will bring you back. No problem, I'll wait for a bit. <laughs> A bit of a heart attack there, did you now, Luigi? <laughs> Clear time. I meant to very six seconds. Three pretty ghost captures. Help us. 175. Ouch. 479. A three star ranking. Well done. Finding that possessor ghost, crony. I can actually hear the possessor raging around inside that Poltergeist 5000. Let's get him into the vault quickly. Yes, let's do that, shall we? Spectral mass updated. Spectral mass, 12W. New ghost captured. Spectral mass, 52W. Treasure collected, 479. Now we just need 7,000 more to get that upgrade. The longer the possessor guys have the dark moon pieces, the stronger they seem to get. <laughs> a good thing I've been working on the upgrades for the Podgus 5000. <laughs> the dark, that dark moon piece has probably been corrupted by dark energy. Let's get it all cleaned up. Yes, let's do that, shall we? Four pieces have been collected now, but only two more left. Hmm. Ah, very nice. Very nice indeed. All, all brand new and shiny. Mmm, shiny. It looks like we unlocked another new area. Oh, yep. This area, that area. Mm. The more dark moon pieces we find, the more I think someone shattered it on purpose. Anywho, we've got to keep going. Let's check the map and see if any more fogs has lifted. Yep. It's that area right there. Ah, the top of the mountains. That's the coldest part of Evershade Valley. I hope you brought your winter coat. No, I didn't even have enough time to pack it, Professor Egad. You pixel shifted me to here without even a second thought that I need something. Well, 
that's all clockworks done. The next mansion we're going to be looking at is the secret mines. But I'll be saving that for later, and I am very sorry for the background sound of the of what has been happening here. There's not much I can do, it's pretty much out of my control. So, hopefully next time when I try to record The Secret Mind, hopefully I don't have much background sounds than I expected. But, until then, I'll be back for another episode, or I'll be back to actually continue on to The Secret Minds. But until then, I'll see you very shortly next time. Ta-ta!